Hey guys and dolls, it's Kirsty and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to film my first ever get ready with me um, on this channel. I haven't filmed one as of yet so I figured I would do one. Um, I am moving house soon so I wanted to do uh, basically what I'd already planned to do because um, I've got like a monthly structure of like videos that I want to do that I've been releasing as of when. Um, because I'm moving hopefully very soon because I currently live in Scotland my family are all in England and um, a little bit homesick so I want to go home so um, I'm trying to get back to England as close as I can to my family so hopefully it won't be too long um, but anyway seems as this is fall or autumn as we call it in the UK um, I'm ready to get my autumn on. Autumn is my favourite time of year. I absolutely love the colours of the trees. Um, I love the um, leaves on the ground and I just love like the Halloween vibes. Plus, um, obviously, jumpers and stuff and it's the best time to buy um, household things when you're, um, when you're an alternative person. So, uh, yeah, Halloween's the best time to buy household items. So today, I will be doing a autumn inspired look. I'm thinking maybe um, orange and like orangey, like typical leafy colours. I think that's what we're going to go with. I think on my lips today, I'm going to be wearing possibly Jeffree Stars. Um, Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blurs but then I just remembered I have Kat Von D's A Go Go which is a gorgeous orange colour so mm, I don't know just stay tuned and enjoy it right so um, I'm getting ready today because I need to go to the hospital for some tests so there's nothing to worry about, it's just um, just fertility stuff, just checking on things and hopefully everything is a-okay. If not, we're going to have issues and I'm probably going to cry. Um, but yeah. So to be fair, it would have been quite fun to film a Get Ready With Me yesterday because I had a mental health check yesterday um had to go and see a shrink um yesterday which wasn't nice digging up the past is never good um as i say with um because i like pretty little liars i just think the past is the past just leave it there like there's no point digging it up but I was having a really tough time recently, so I went to see a doctor and had a little wee chat about why I was feeling so gross and not myself. So guys, I'm just uh, concealing right now, as you can probably see. Duh. I'm a mouse. Duh. <laughs> Mean Girls, one of the best Halloween scenes of a movie ever. But my favourite Halloween movie has got to be Hocus Pocus, hence the Winnie Sanderson makeup tutorial that is on my profile. If you want to see that, guys, go and check it out. Right, I'm going to go straight on to eyes because there could be some severe fallout today. I have never paired orange and green together before and today I'm thinking I might do which is strange because it's not typically something that I would do but I'm thinking why not yesterday I wore a um, glitter crease an orange glitter crease um, to the doctors 
um, if you want to see that guys you can check out my Instagram which is Kirsty underscore tutorials and I have um, I upload uh, any pictures that I don't do a tutorial for and also the coming scene pictures for any tutorials um, whilst my videos are in the editing stage so when I'm editing them they um, the picture that I'm going to be using for the thumbnail goes up so yeah if you guys are interested in seeing that then you can check that out right I'm thinking as I did orange yesterday that I'm gonna do a green look today because to be fair when you think I already have orange hair so I'm already there on the autumn front and like yeah and with orange yesterday so i'm thinking i want to do something better today i'm going to do like a brownie um greeny look i do have the kylie lip kit in trick but i don't think that's going to look very good um on top of on top of um can't remember what I was going to say. Ah! This always happens to me. Like, I always have to edit bits out of videos because I don't know what I'm deadly saying. It's so frustrating. Right, and here I am, like, about to start doing my eyes. I don't even have eyebrows on. Like, what the hell? Talk about backwards. I really do find it quite strange when people on YouTube, like, do their eyebrows after they've done that eyeshadow. I find my eyebrows are, like, the best guide for my eyeshadow if that makes sense but then I guess it doesn't so I might try it today right so we're gonna do a first ever Kirsty tutorial thing I'm gonna do my eyes before my eyebrows <laughs> bear with me guys bear with me the fears are real the fears are real I'm absolutely perfect guys in case it goes wrong <laughs> or in case my eyebrows don't look good after I've done my eyeshadow which will be a travesty. Can we just say travesty? Right, I am going to use my go-to drugstore palettes, which are the Sophie X palettes by Makeup Revolution. Absolutely adore Makeup Revolution. I have so many products by them. Love, love, love. Um, and I'm going to use my MUA Makeup Academy um, tropical Oceana palette because the greens in this are to die for so yeah and because I can't be bothered to use expensive makeup today does anyone else just get those days where you just cannot be bothered with expensive makeup I get those days quite frequently right so I'm going to start first with the Sophie X palette and I'm going to use the shade I want something nice and cool. Pug. It is a very cool, neutrally brown colour. I don't know if you can see that. Ignore the fact my brush is really orange. These brushes stain so bad. Don't you just hate it when that happens? When you buy brushes and you use them like once or twice and then they stain. Just me? Okay, just me. I hate it. I'm forever buying brushes because they stain. Luckily enough, it's not uh, affecting the shadow. So many eye... So many eyeshadow brushes, so many fluffy brushes. And the one I want to use has got bloody purple on. So, I'm just cleaning my brush, guys. I swear I should have done a brush cleaning. Like, I, I am usually very religious on doing my brushes once a week, but I've been so busy. Like, I just haven't done them. It's just pressing. I'm just using a makeup pad, um, a dry one to get the excess dust off. I normally would use a wet one and then leave it to dry or um, use brush cleaner. But girl, I don't have time. 
So, um, yeah, we're just gonna go in with this gorgeous pug shade. I've been using this shadow palette religiously for a couple of weeks almost. I adore it. In fact, I actually think I've had it about a week, maybe a week. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. I know it arrived on a Thursday. I think it's two weeks tomorrow that I've had it. And to be honest, I absolutely love this palette so, so much. Um, so congrats to Sophie from YouTube. Her channel is Soap Does Nails. She's the mastermind and the collaborated creator of this palette. She worked with Makeup Revolution on this palette and it is phenomenal. Also, if anyone's not sure what they want to be for Halloween yet, Seriously, Makeup Revolution have just released a button, literally a button of new products today, ready for Halloween for the festive season. So um, definitely have a browse on Tan Beauty or Superdrug and check those out. I have so much stuff on my list that I want I definitely want to get some softbox lights for Christmas, but then other than that, everything else is just makeup. Right, so I'm feeling like I'm happy with the blend on both eyes. So look on camera. Sweet as a nut, as we say here in the UK. Sorry if you're American watching this, we have weird personalities, we know. We know, we know. Right, I am now going to go in with the shade Mug Cake, it's a dark brown, well medium brown. I'm using three mirrors, there's a mirror here and a mirror here and I'm like, just going to um, apply that in the crease and the outside of my eye. Ooh. It's been a stressful week. My anxiety's been really on edge this week. Just because I'm really determined to get home for Christmas. Like I've literally cancelled all of my Christmas plans, not buying presents but my partner and I, because we live together, and we're not going, we're literally only sending gifts to our parents. Which is sad on its own, but, no. We're um, trying to save up to move house. I'm determined to get home for Christmas. But I'm on the housing lists for like loads of different places. Because I'm really not fussy where I live as long as I'm in the Midlands or close to it. Like literally not like so I can get the bus to Midlands, don't care. That's where I'm originally from, so I want to be near my family. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but my eyes are starting to change colour. It is the season. My eyes get like greeny brown in the winter and like they go that way and then when it gets really cold they go like really really dark brown. Summertime they go more of a hazel colour and they go quite yellowy which is fun. I guess I'm a bit of a mutant when it comes to things like that. Right I'm going to use one of my favourite shades in the palette it's called Rosewood. I love this shade. I also love that there's so many matte shades as well in this palette, which makes me a very happy bunny. There's so much choice and wonder of what you can do with this palette. Like, which is so much choice. And I love the name too. 
I believe so named it because of her obsession with Pretty Little Liars. I'm the type of girl that gets on the bandwagon very, very late of things, like literally only a few weeks ago did I fully finish Game of Thrones, I watched all of them. Can I just say, obsessed, obsessed. I hate the fact I have to wait another two years because old man Winkle <laughs> is what I call, I call him the geezer that writes the books, basically. He needs to write quick out so they can make the story end. So I can see it. Also, congrats to the guy who plays Jon Snow. Because him and his girlfriend just got engaged. Which is awesome. The names always slip my mind, so I do apologise. I am I am a severe fan, but the names of people are off screen very much slip my mind a lot of the time. But anyway, back to the shade, Rosewood. I love Pretty Little Liars. I only recently, in the last, I want to say five days, started watching and I've already binge watched all the way to season four. So yeah, you got me, you got me there. <laughs> but can we just say, really fuming that they took Toby and turned him naughty for a little bit. Not happy. Please no spoilers in the bottom because uh, I don't want to know what happens. I really don't want to know what happens. I'm literally, I've only started season four and I've kind of like, I don't know, got to the point now where I'm like, okay, well, I think this is going to happen and this is going to happen and I'm hoping it doesn't, but I kind of think it's going to. I've accepted the fact that Spencer's sister is, is bad. I've, accept, I've accepted that. Like, literally, think I have, like, the minute I saw her, I was just like, there's something not right about this girl. There's something not right. And then she just got more and more worse. My partner thinks that Alison is alive. I don't know if that's true, because like I said, I haven't seen season seven or the other seasons so i'm not sure so please no spoilers do not tell us if we are right i think the blonde head the blonde haired girl in the red coat is cc i either think it's cc or it's spencer's sister in a wig i'm determined i think it's those like why else would she feel the need to wear that mask like she must everyone must know who she is like why and why would you wear a a uh, mask of Alison's face, like when you could just have Alison's face. Like no one's gonna believe you're Alison even if it is you. Because you're supposed to be dead. So yeah. I'm not too sure what I think um is gonna happen, but I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be Summit big coming soon, and I'm scared. Oh, I'm, I was gonna do a halo eye, but I figured we've got too much brown going on, and I'm not ready to be full on brown all over the lid. Especially since I've got brown eyes as well, so I suppose halo eyes work, uh, work well if you use colours that are um, good for your eye shade. But literally, as a person with brown eyes, the main colours are brown and well, green and purple that make our eyes pop. So I figured if I added green to the lid, it would make my eyes pop. Right. So, this is what we're working with right now. I will uh, sharpen the edges with concealer after. I'm going to add um, some shimmer now. I want, I want, I want. my ah. 
going to use my Me Now um, lip and eyeliner pencils and I'm going to use, oh, make up your mind, are you going to fall or what? I'm going to use the gold. There we go, so I'm just going to add some mascara and maybe some liner and then I'm done. Guys, I am going to pause this video because obviously liner and mascara is pretty boring so I'll come back to you guys when I'm ready to do my lips. I'm also going to do my face and my eyebrows off camera as well because um, I have a um, face routine on my profile it's the same routine as with my Dermacol review um, so yeah I use Dermacol still so the routine I use in that video is my everyday makeup routine so go and check that out if you want to see how I make my face look flawless and I believe I show you my eyebrow technique in that as well. But it changes. Every time my eyebrow shape changes, my eyebrow technique changes. So, yeah. They're a bit of a mess at the minute. That's why I'm not going to do it on camera. Because it takes too long. So, I'll be back in a short amount of time. Bye. Hi, guys. So, I'm back. And I've done my eyebrows. They were a struggle. Because they're different shapes. Um, I had a really bad threading accident. And I'm waiting to grow back so while they're still annoying me and not growing back they look like this not pretty um yeah so i did my eyeliner and my mascara and stuff i'm not gonna wear lashes because i don't like them they don't fit my face very nice and then i finish the rest of my face i have the anastasia um beverly hills moon child glow kit on for highlight today in the shade Lucky Clover and then I've just used my usual new look contour palette and my Dermacol foundation so yeah we're just gonna finish this off with lips and then we're done right I like to plump my lips before I um, do anything else um, yeah I usually do this twice before I put my lip colour on I can usually feel it working after the first one, which is good. Um, but I like to do the second one. This is just, I um, can't remember what brand this is. I think it might be full lips, but it's cheaper than having lip enhancements. And I don't really want lip enhancements because most of the time I don't care what my face looks like. But when I do makeup looks, I like my lips to look a bit fuller. So I use this.
go. All right. And then usually, I'll check to see if there's any ring marks that isn't today. Um, because this is quite like there's no pattern or anything on the inside, so it just um, it doesn't leave a mark or a ridge around your mouth where you've used it. Um, but I kind of wish I'd got the medium sized one because the big one's a little bit too big for my mouth, so I think I will invest in a medium sized one soon. But yeah, so I'm going to apply my lipstick. I'm going to apply my dark um, ready pink lip liner because I'm going to wear my unicorn blood Jeffree Star lipstick. <laughs> I'm not sure if this enhances my lips or what, but um, it kind of uh, is a little um, huge. I think I probably could have gotten away with just um, just one lip plump instead of two. <laughs> so beware if you're going to use one of these. I use this because it's um, better than those lip plumping lip glosses. I never find any of them work. Like they can smile like mint all they want, but if they're not going to work, then I'm not going to use it. <laughs> but yeah, here's the final look. Hope you enjoyed um if you're new to my channel please like and subscribe and stick around love you all bye